some complaints from the community about some problems that you all are having. Uh, for lack of, you know, Waterloo is a fairly sizable community in the parish, but it's not incorporated. So we elected to get the fire station, open it up, have it ready to go, and um, just have a little open form. As sheriff, I'd just like you to know that it's very important to me that you live in your community and you're content with what's going on. And I tell people this all the time. We have a little company here called Porco P.E. And all of us that own houses and homes and property here have a stake in the game. And it's very important to me that, that you are happy with where you live and the conditions you're living under. And it's our job to try and keep it straight. We don't always bat a thousand, but we do the best we can with what we have. Uh, I've had a few people talk to me about this. this as far as organized or a spokesperson or whatever, I guess I'm in. But uh, we'd like to just tell you that based on what we found, we went through our law, we have a computer-aided dispatch system. For lack of a better term, it's a computer. When we get a call, it's automatically put into the system. And what it does for us, it allows us to track data, complaints, problems, or whatever. So since March the 1st, we've run, done a run on our computer system to find out what's being reported by the community. So when you call 911 and say, I got a problem with this, we capture that information and we put it in the system. We've had just a few calls. Unfortunately, a lot of them were domestic violence. The one that topped the, the category was just a little bigger than fighting inside a household, which we don't really consider crime on the street. We had a few calls for four-wheelers riding on the highway, but we had very few thefts. Brett, how many? One theft. So if you have a rash of problems here, as we, you know, and I talk to a few different people in the community, we want to know what it is exactly because if we don't get the call, if you don't call 911, we're going to drive through the neighborhood, wave at everybody in the yard, and do our little thing because if we don't know about it, we can't fix it. I live on Cable 2 Road. If you call 911, they don't know where that's at. I have to tell them, we're getting Highway 981. And I know that for a fact, the mother had a heart attack. They didn't find us. They went all the way to the before they were turned around. Well, so thank you. If I'm just on Cajun 2 Road, be aware of that. Check your 911 address. Also, if you call the sheriff's office directly, does that go into your system as when well? When you call 911, you're calling the sheriff's office. We, do, we handle the dispatching for the entire parish for fire, for all police agencies, and the sheriff's department. We have a central dispatch system, so when you dial 911, please do. A lot of people will tell me, oh, this happened to me, blah, 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 and they call on the general number at the, at the sheriff's office. I said, well, just call 911. Well, I didn't think it was a real big emergency. Well, believe me, people call for anything on 911 for directions or whatever, so don't feel like you can't dial 911. That they, they, they're asking you information, which they're trained to ask information about. But when you want to just make a complaint, I find it's better, better to call the dispatcher. And the dispatcher itself and the sheriff's office will come faster and, and you don't have to go through the process. So who do you call? What number do you call? I'm calling. No. I don't call 911. I call 911 and they give me a dispatch number. So that's why I call 911. I had a deputy LB meeting. Well, that's good. I call this number here. Dispatch 225 694 3737. That's that's the same one. That's that dispatch. Yeah. Right. And then, and then there, you tell them your problem, and your deputy coming down. Well, and and I mean you to educate you. I take nine one one as an emergency. Everybody does. Right. Everybody. This well, is lights out. You know, somebody's dying. You call nine one one, and and we get people calling for. Hey, they call nine one one. What's your emergency? Well, I'm lost. I want to find out how to get to. Right. Whatever, you know, so it's it's a different meaning to different people is what I'm trying what to I'm say. Saying, what I'm asking and what I'm bringing up to the point is 
Do you have any problems with us calling the dispatcher? Six no. nine four three seven three seven. It's in the same building. building right. The people sitting at the same chairs answer the answer the phone. It, 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 it's when a nine one one calls in. Nine one one call comes in. It's easy to talk to a six nine four number because they're just that's the general number to communications. Right. If you call nine one one, a whole series of events kick in. What is your emergency? Blah blah blah. We've got to ask all these questions because we get sued two or three times a year from improperly handling a critical call. All the questions. Right. But I don't want to flood six times thirty-seven thirty-seven because the dispatcher said nine one one. If you need a deputy to come to your house, if you got a complaint, you got something stolen, somebody broke a window, somebody busted your mailbox. The deputy is going to generate the report. You're not going to get the report over the 911 center. If you call and say, look, I need a deputy to come by my house, we're going to send a deputy, next available deputy, will come to your house and we'll take a report. We'll capture that information from that. Is that the answer somewhat? Well, it answers me, but I, I still find the times that I've had to call that the dispatcher has satisfied my complaint. Fast. It's the same person. The it, might be, it might be the same person. It's the same, it, that's you know, what I'm saying. You got two people sitting there. It just could be the luck of the draw. Go ahead. Well, if you don't dial 911, you're not keeping a record of that, though, right? That's right. So anytime you complain using the statistics, number, you don't get any record of it. Okay. Now, we will get it if you call 694 and you say, I need to see a deputy by blah, 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 and the deputy comes out to the scene and files a report, then it's captured. Right. But if you right. just complain, Little Johnny was in my yard and I want him out, blah, blah. That's not going to be captured. So it's okay. I mean, my thing with the 911, we don't want to use it for non emergencies and then somebody's trying to make an emergency right. call and right. it's being flooded. Yeah, I'm I understand that. But it's there for you to use. We don't miss too many of them. When they come through, we have a recorder. It's a little dated. We're upgrading the system. Uh, one of the things we're doing to change things. That with the 91 system that we have, when uh, it was created, they have dual numbers. We have some addresses that are duplicated in the parish. Uh, you have uh, some rows that are east, some rows that are west, or north and south, and they have like 768 Marion Road East is my address. There's a 768 Marion Road West. So if you don't get the east and the west, it's a problem. And it took a half an hour to get an ambulance. I understand. Well, it depends on where he came from, too. But it also depends on where the ambulance came from. If he came from New came Roads, from New Roads point well, that's, that's not acceptable. I saw him pass the house. Okay. So it's what you're saying. If we don't dial 911, you don't have a record of us. We don't have a record of that call. So you're saying. It's an unrecorded number on 3737. Right. So you're Is saying it recorded, Brent? Yeah. All yes. lines are all recorded. All lines are recorded. Yeah. But we just don't capture it on the computer. 694. You just want a deputy to come out and move somebody off your property? You don't call, call 911. I would call 911. Yes, if you need help and assistance, call 911. Right, but what I'm asking is, is you're, so if people don't dial 911, you're not aware of our problems out here, which I, I'm assuming a lot of these people are. Either, either way. Either way. Whichever one you, you, you feel comfortable calling. They both ring at the same place. What specific problems do you have that you'd like to talk about? Yes, ma'am. Call and we'll get a deputy to come out and tell them where they're shooting. We do not have a, a ordinance for that at the parish level, but there is a certain distance from a household that you cannot shoot a firearm. So we, we'd have to address it on an individual case. But if you have some and it sounds like it's too close to your house, Call us and we'll send a deputy out there to investigate. Do we think the events are coming from inside the neighborhood or outside? What events? Now, uh, that's, the, the events I'm trying to get a handle place. on the events. Okay, a mailbox being destroyed, broken windows, and putting water in gas tanks. Okay. Did you make a report? No. Nope. Okay. Do you, you have uh, what? I figured it's kids in the neighborhood. Okay. And more than likely. Yeah. Well, and not yes, but it's still good to report. It. You know, we do have a juvenile division, and we do take these things seriously. As as we get a complaint, we'll issue a summons and have them appear in court in front of a judge. It's the next 
level of trying to do something about it. And, you know, the thing about it is, is that in your community, I want to talk to the people that live there. I want to talk to you. You, you regulate the thermostat of, of where you want the line drawn. You know, and some people are extreme. They want, you know, this is it, follow the rule book, and have it etched in stone. I know in some of the small communities where there's subdivisions, people drive their golf carts on the road, or they'll drive a four-wheel. But you can't have it both ways. You're either going to have it or you're not. You understand what I'm trying to say? Because the law is specific. Any off-road vehicle, any golf cart, or anything like that is not a registered vehicle in the state of Louisiana. It's not allowed on the roadway. So if you're saying that's what you want, you know, I had a friend of mine in, in Frisco Ridge subdivision. I'm using this as an analogy. Called me and said, look, I got a problem. The kids are out of control. They're driving four wheels up and down the road. It's crazy. It's the wild, wild west. We send deputies into the neighborhood. We beef up the patrol in that community. The first golf cart on the back of a wrecker and the first ticket issued was to the guy making the complaint to his 14-year-old son. And I'm not saying that to laugh about it or make fun about it. And with a golf cart, you can't drive too fast anyway. But what I'm saying is the law is crystal clear when it comes down to your neighborhood that you either have it or you don't. We can beef up patrol if that's what you want. And that's why I'm here. I want input from the community before we move or have any additional information that we're not aware of. Yes? My biggest problem is uh, I'm on the left with lots of front cage and one, front cage and two, I work in RG. Okay. My biggest problem is teenagers cussing you low as a dog, pulling their pants down, shaking their problems at you. And then when you ask your son, who is that son? He <coughs> names them by name. Then you get the binoculars out and you look down there, hmm, you right. It is them. And then you you know you try to be nice and you, you see one of them you say, Why wow, dude? Why would you want to do that? And he just politely tells you to kiss his you know what? I'm gonna continue to do what I do. If you don't like it, you can kiss it. And we got teenagers riding around with our driver's license in trucks. Loud truck. You're trying to sleep during the day, they stop right in front of your house. Wow, wow, wow. Just to let you know that they gonna die. Just let you know, I don't really have a problem with four wheel. I see a lot of people out of this neighborhood and all over riding four wheel. I see people going slow. You know, I had one guy come down the road in a red Dodge going about 65 miles an hour one day. <coughs> he almost went in the ditch in the Maggio ditch. They wasn't home. I went down there and asked him, would you please slow it down? He said, you don't tell me what to do. I said, well, they got kids all playing in the yard. What happens if you get one of them? Well, you know what I got out of that? This is the word I got out of that. They're going to get you. Those teenagers are going to get you. Well, it's not going to happen. It's not going to happen to me. In my house, we complained. We even had the judge, this, complain about it and talk to the parents after I got a license number. Come to find out he wasn't a juvenile. But his juvenile brother was behind me. I think this man, which I found out he was between around 19 years old, and he's a man. He is the instigator in the neighborhood of Waterloo. Okay. He instigates everybody because he knows that if he's caught, he's gonna get charged. But the juvenile or just get a little slap on the hand and go home. Well, they're going to be charged also, but the law well, requires right. that a juvenile go through a separate process. I, I, well, not everybody understands all that. That's, that's the only reason I want to explain. I've been 30 years with police department in Baton Okay. I understand the law. Now, I know yeah. a lot of it has changed. But a lot of people don't understand right. it either. Right, right. Okay. Juveniles are not well, exempt, what I'm but they go through a different this. process. What I'm saying is this. When Judge Best talked to his parents, a deputy was there because Judge Best called him deputy. He came to my residence with a deputy and apologized to me and my wife, which he cussed out, both of us, threatened me, wanted to fight with me, told me his daddy wanted to whip me. I didn't 